Hey guys, it's Stephanie and today I'm going to show you how to use macros in Google Sheets. Macros can be used to do really mundane tasks. For instance, if you upload a spreadsheet full of information and you go through and you format it and you do this several times for different spreadsheets that you upload, you can create a macro and that macro will just go through the same steps that you would except it does it all with a script and you don't need to know any coding for it. So here under tools, go to macros right here. I believe this was a new thing that Google Sheets added on April of 2018. So it's a very new addition. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go through the macros with this list. So let's just say I uploaded a big file of different students, their grades and ranks. And the way I format it, um, I go through and I format making all of these names bold. And I resort by grade. So let's say I do this all the time and I want to make it easier. I'm going to go over to the tools, going to select macros, and I'm going to hit record macro. So right now I'm going to click and select all of the names. I'm going to bold them. It shows that it's recorded the formatting. And then I'm going to go over to the grade and I'm going to sort A to Z. And it says updated filter. This is exactly what I wanted to do. I'm going to click save. It's going to ask you what you want to name it. So I'm going to say sort by grade. And then it asks you what kind of shortcut would you like to create for it if you would like to create a shortcut. If you select all these keys together, you will get it to do this. Save. Saving macro and it's all set. Now I'm going to undo what we did here just to show you how this works. Okay, so now to use the macro, you're going to go back into tools and you're going to select the name that you gave the macro or you can hit all these, these different buttons at the same time and you'll get the same effect. But I'm going to click right here, sort, and there you go. It went ahead and it did it. If it's your first time recording a macro and then running it, you're going to be asked permission to use the script on Google Sheets. So don't be alarmed, just select OK or yes that you're fine with providing permission. So that's it. That's how to use macros in Google Sheets. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to comment below. And that's it for the tutorial today. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.